Okay, where do I see it? Uh, right there in the first camera. Uh, hello ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of DeMarco Polo. I would just like to say, first and foremost, I love working for you, DeMarco. You are just hilarious. I got nothing else better to do, so shit, collecting a couple cents from you every once in a while ain't that bad, you know? You're not you when you're hungry. I can get me a Snickers bar. Okay, what's wrong with you? Dorian Avisha, you are arguably one of DeMarco's most popular characters. Well... What do you have to say about that? Yes, arguably. You are 100% right. What's wrong with me? Who the fuck is you? N no, your arm. Oh! Without me, DeMarco would not have a channel. He would not be where he is right now. And I think it's safe to say that DeMarco Polo is literally my channel. It's Dorna Bisha Polo. So one of the biggest questions regarding you, Calvin, is that people really want to know why you always wear suspenders. Well... Um, because I am black, people would just automatically expect me to have my pants all the way down my ass, and quite frankly, I'm just not into that. Okay, so let me tell y'all what happened. So, it all began with this- If it's a long story, don't tell us. Okay, y'all, so it all started down there at the job with this rusty, dusty, low-down, crusty, musty, busty, dirty, orangutan, titted having bitch. She tried to come at me because I was doing my job better, and she said, You mad because I do the rapping? You mad because I'm like Cardi B? I said, No, child, I don't even know you. And then she told me I can go to hell, and I said, Bitch, it's not that bad. I've been there many a times. Honestly, it's not that bad. It's a vacation spot for me. So then she threw her cup of coffee on me. Okay, and what did you do? I beat her ass into a coma, talking all that shit. Now she ain't gonna be talking at all. Do you think that you're real? <laughs> of course, why wouldn't it be? Um, I'm right here talking to you, like, uh, uh, that hurt. <laughs> you know, it takes a lot of strength to beat somebody ass into a coma. This is just the result of it. I'm fine. Another thing that regards you, Calvin, is people tend to think that you are a know-it-all and you have no place on DeMarco Polo. Well, to those people, I would like them to know that I have three PhDs and I don't give a fuck and I'm more than qualified to beat every last one of their asses. Grandma Jean, is there any advice you would like to give to younger people or people that uh -huh. would like to follow in your footsteps? Well, I would like to tell the younger generation to stop with all that he say, she say shit. Because back in the day, we only got the he say part. We never got the she say. So y'all got all that damn technology so y'all can sort shit out. Back in the day, we only heard the he, so he got his ass beat. I just feel like this generation has gone soft. Okay, so your name is Dornabisha. Um, one could say that that's oddly unique. Um, how did your mother name you? Well, I like to think that my mom wasn't on crack when she named me, but the sad thing is she was. I like to think that my mom saw the beauty in doorknobs because they opened up doors and they led you to new paths of success. And she was in turn making me a metaphor for the thing she wishes she could be. Calvin, one of the greatest things about you is that you often find yourself in unforeseen situations and you are sort of a comic relief. What do you have to say about oh, that? Well, I think that people think that I like to be around them, but I don't fucking like any of you guys and no one. I am truly an introvert. I love me, myself, and I, and I couldn't give a fuck about what you guys think. The only thing that I do enjoy more than roasting people is my education. So if you're not a pen and paper, you can promptly move your ass. But it really just mean that she was high and she was drunk. And that was the only word that she could say when the doctor asked her, what do you want to name your child? These bitches today think they so confident showing off their second grade coloring skills with all that shit on their face. But when you want to fuck with real beauty, come give grandma a call.
Yeah, you know what? I would like to tell you dirty ass bitches with your rat infested homes to bag the fuck up. You ain't on my level. Bag up, press restart, and try again, bitch. I have a message for everyone that was at that party last night. Um, because you guys treated me very poorly and you hung me up upside down and you poured alcohol all over me, um, I just want to let you guys know that I mixed promethazine, codeine, and gasoline and the punch last night. So, you won't feel any effects right now, but if you're watching this, fuck you.